Luca. My ship ran out of power because I couldn't be bothered to wait until it powers itself up before logging out, so I'll just go on and test my new battle carrier design on survival now. Luca. This is my survival pod BTW, which I partially grinned down for PCU, now I can just reweld it.
Nep Nep. I'm coming for you. Nep Nep. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Hey C equals. Luca. X3. Luca. I saw 83. Nep Nep. Seems I'm first. Luca. First three. Luca. X3. Luca. Oh. Luca. Yet. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes in term of other people watching. Nep nep. Let's hope my game doesn't crash like the last time I played on a keen O server with you three. Luca. R.I.P. Luca. Oh wait I haven't made the frame for this ship. Luca. Rib. Nep Nep Mighty Rip Luca BRB going to creative for a bit to make the frame Nep Nep. Found gold on the roid, shocked.
Luca. Ye three. Luca. Is a goldroid. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. Are you already new? Nep nep. Thought I did something useful there lol. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes.
Luca. Accidentally deleted SMTH I shouldn't rip. Nep nep. F. Nep nep. Got a new space pod so I can turn it into a miner. Nep nep. And mine for you. Luca. Yay asterisk asterisk. Luca. X3.
Luca. Okies finished the frame 83. Luca. X3. Nep nep. Ah perfect timing yet I need for you to share your progress w. Nep nep. Forgot that was a thing. Luca. Ah smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Der C equals. Luca. X3. Nep nep. THX. Kyle Smith. Any cool hinge stuff you build yet? Luca NP eighty three Luca X three Luca Well he did make a furry robot stuff Luca Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes Nep nep Yeah it was great, winking and laughing
Nep Nep. You still have the going on creative thing still on cough cough just saying. Nep Nep. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Oh. Luca. Whoops. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Thanks 83. Luca. X3.
Luca. Gonna order food, getting hungry 83. Nep nep. Okie dokie. Nep nep. I have my mining pod ready to mine anyway. Nep nep. Other than storage anyway. Luca. Asterisk asterisk. Luca. Well, we're gonna need a refinery. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. DIOV. Holy crap, I have not seen you stream in a while. D.I.O.V. How is life? Luca. Hey die of three. Luca. Yeah been a while. Luca. Lives okay x3. Luca. C equals. D.I.O.V. Smiling cat face with open mouth. Nep nep. Don't worry I'm already on it Luca smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes this isn't my first rodeo, smiley face, Luca. Whoops keyboard fell. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Luca. Yay 83. Luca. X3. Luca Space Rodeo -o. Nep nep. LOL. Alex Alexiev. Hi. Luca. Hey Alex 3. Luca. X3.
Alex Alexiev. Is this single or multi? Luca. Multi 83. Luca. X3. Nep nep. Well, depends if you can call me a bot or not, Lamoa. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. The Etheris. Hello there. Alex Alexiev. You're a bot. Luca. Hey Etheris 3. Luca. I am a put music. The epic beard. Does it weld easy or do you have to fix missed sections later, I'd think with a thin profile it would weld easier. Yes? Luca. Yeah it's easy 3 it's currently the frame of the ship first that I'm welding. Luca. To make sure I don't miss any internal parts. Luca. C equals.
The epic beard. Right, I hate when you miss a tube and have to go looking for it later. Luca. Yes, smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes, it's bad. Alex Alexiev. Your beard is very epic. The epic beard. Thanks. Alex Alexiev. Welcome. Tarkan. Elbow cough. Your health is low. Alex Alexiev. Almost died there. Luca. Yet. Luca. XX. Luca. Hey Terkin C equals. The epic beard. Anyway just gonna sit back and watch the build, I find it relaxing, almost as therapeutic as building one myself. Restream.io Trophy congratulations. You've received 100 messages today with Restream chat. Luca. Alrighty 3. Alex Alexiev. Who a a a a, 100 messages. Nep nep. And hopefully not see me explode also smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Can you even imagine? Alex Alexiev. Being sarcastic. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes.
Luka. Jebus that's loud. Nep nep. Yeah that scared me a tiny bit. Nep nep. NGL. Etheris was just talking with my GF and this started playing loudly lol Luca smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes whoops Nep nep. Perfect timing Luca, winking and laughing. Luca. 3. The Etheris. It was very dramatic smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes.
Lote Cokopai, tiga kelezatan dalam satu kehangatan. Luca Ads Luca Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes Nep nep LOL Efficiency of the man in turn depends Not only on their training Their discipline And their leadership But in great measure on their living conditions Because many of today's ships lack the facilities which provide good habitability and thus provide highest efficiency, Commander Operational Development Force was ordered to make an evaluation of shipboard living conditions. Conditions were studied on all the major types of ships. The reports indicated that much improvement could be made in existing ships. By giving habitability consideration commensurate with the consideration given other military characteristics. To explore this concept, it was decided to make experimental changes in the living accommodations of an existing ship to see what could be done to improve habitability. Representatives of the forces afloat, Bureau of Ships, the Norfolk Naval Shipyard, and a well-known industrial designer met to work out detailed plans for improving the various berthing, messing, and sanitation compartments on a 692-class destroyer. Surveys indicated serious overcrowding. Studies were made to see if the crew could be reduced by more efficient utilization of each man. The type commander cut the personnel allowance on a trial basis. This made more room and more facilities available for each man. Total reduction amounted to 37 persons, officers, CPOs, and enlisted men. The ship's effectiveness was not expected to be reduced because better living conditions would make each man more efficient. The Meredith was scheduled for regular overhaul and a 3-inch 50 gun conversion, and was selected for habitability Luca. improvements on an experimental basis. X3. When the Meredith tied up, The berthing spaces were like this. Very crowded. Very inconvenient lockers. No readily available place to store personal belongings. Peacoats and foul weather clothing were hung wherever space was available. There was no room and no facilities for recreation. The comfort of many of the berths were diminished by the glare of hot lights and the projection of valves and pipes from the overhead. The poor arrangement of the bunks made traffic flow slow and difficult. Crew's berthing compartment A304L was laid out like this. 48 men lived here. Not only was it crowded, but it was very difficult to get to the ladder at Reveille and General Quarters. Most critical bottleneck existed here, where 33 men had to pass when clearing the compartment. Redesign produced a more efficient layout, further improved by reducing the number of personnel assigned to the compartment. A304L now looks like this. Note how the removal of a few men and the rearrangement and redecoration have improved the appearance. The bulkheads are painted a gray beige, and the compartment is pleasantly illuminated by fluorescent lights. Foam neoprene mattresses improve the comfort of the berths. The stanchions make a more orderly appearance than the chains of the old type berth. The drawer type transom locker can be used without disturbing the occupants of the berths. New utility screens give the men some privacy and make it easy for them to get at some of their often used items. In addition to their transom lockers, new upright lockers supply more storage space for each man. Three men share each one. The top space is for their peacoats and uniforms, and each man has an individual drawer below. 
The locker itself and the door is ventilated. Bars provide for drying damp towels and other small laundry items. The redesign now permits some recreation space. An upholstered transom, several tables. This chief's messing compartment originally was designed to be twice this size. Then additional military equipment was installed and caused overcrowding condition not conducive to pleasant meals or relaxation. An opening behind this locker is the only passageway for over 20 of the crew to pass back and forth to their berthing compartment directly below the chief's quarters. Relocation of a hatch permitted the men to go to their compartment without walking through the chief's quarters. And the rearrangement and redecoration of the quarters made them brighter and more comfortable, although a little smaller. The after CPO quarters were encroached on by the installation of this ammo hoist for the new 3 inch 50 center line mount. Two officers were crowded into this bunk room and three more in an adjacent room just like it. Not very satisfactory for sleeping or working. On the blueprint, the officers quarters looked like this. Notice that the passageway took up much valuable space. The redesign made use of the passageway and permitted separation of bunks from space for office work and recreation. The space now is improved both for sleep and for work. Interior decorating by color of paint and other means adds much to the attractiveness of these quarters. The captain's cabin was improved by relocation of a door and the installation of a more utilitarian desk. A transom-type berth was also installed to replace the old berth. It doubles as a settee for the captain's official and personal guests. The Meredith messing system was far from efficient. Traffic was confused and further complicated by mess cooks using the same ladder as they replenished the food from the deck above. Part of the traffic problem was solved by installation of a dumb waiter to bring food down from the galley. Worst tie-up was at the ladder where the line had to turn. Alex Alexiev, what are you listening to? Make other sharp turns and pass down the serving table. Immediate improvement was made by reversing the ladder and moving the serving table. This permitted rearrangement of furnishings so that there was room for the dumb waiter, an ice cream freezer, and a hardening cabinet. The line makes a smooth turn now to get to the serving table and moves with less confusion. Luca, an old film about the improving ship living condition. On an experimental Luca, basis. smiling an face with open device. mouth and tightly closed eyes. Although 88 seats were provided in the old messing compartment. Alex Alexiev, who I see, that's cool. Studies show that never more than 53 seats were in use at any one time. In redesigning the compartment, only 56 seats were provided. However, small tables replace the long tables, and all seats are accessible. No longer is there an institutional appearance. Each man has a wider table frontage and more elbow room. Backs on the seats provide additional comfort. The lighting and coloring of the bulkheads tend to make unnoticeable the extraneous gear such as ducting, ammunition, the parts, and the like. That actually sounds All like something I would colorful. listen to while doing stuff. Pearl gray, Smiling pearl face gray. with open mouth and Captain tightly closed blue. eyes. Seats beige, bulkheads beige, deck terracotta. Luca. The keynote is cheerful. Then. Asterisk asterisk Better yeah they're cool. For the good food Luca. Supplied. X3. The men no longer have to scrape their trays. Redesign of the scullery permits them to leave them here for disposal of scraps in the garbage grinder. A piano is installed to enhance the use of the compartment for recreation after messing hours. The smaller tables are more adaptable to recreational pursuits than are the old eight and ten man tables. Alex Alexiev, this is the I just listened to Synthwave and Eckhart's ladder type music. Better lighting, new color scheme. 
tan and green drapes, attractive table lamps, a smaller, more utilitarian sideboard, nep nep, and a narrower table. I all making for Luca. an air of spaciousness and comfort. I Z three, Luca. The sanitary facilities the carts on the videos are fun. Were overcrowded. Ratios were changed so that now there is one lavatory for fifteen Luca. men and one shower for thirty-two X3. men. X three, Luca. On the Asterisk plans, it looks like this. Water closets, urinals, wash basins, and shower, all in one steamy, smelly compartment. Alex Alexiev agreed. Rearrangement and a bulkhead permit a division of the head from the washroom facilities. Experiences like this tended to reduce human dignity. To correct the etheris, screens were installed, yep. permitting a degree of privacy hitherto unknown. As an experiment, towel drying facilities were provided in the forward washroom by installation of this bank of newly designed lockers. The doors are removable so that toilet articles stowed in the door may be taken out and placed conveniently for use. In the towel space, continual circulating air dries the towels after use. You have seen some of the improvements which can be made in living conditions aboard existing ships. The improvements made are not as perfect as desired for two reasons. First, many cable runs, pipelines, and vent ducts are economically unfeasible to relocate. And second, the experimental nature of the job permitted such deficiencies as these to remain. A scuttle in a main passageway to trip hurrying feet. A petcock suspended from the overhead. Even a five foot ten inch sailor is too tall here. Lockers, which are still inadequate to stow all of a man's gear. Soiled laundry storages of inadequate capacity. In spite of these defects, the Meredith experiment has already shown that much can be done to improve living conditions on ships now in commission. The Meredith experiment has not exploited all possibilities for improvement. Studies and investigations have shown that much more can be done. Judicious consideration must be given to the removal of equipment which do not support the mission of the ship. And the removal of equipment like this torpedo dolly, which takes up space and weight out of proportion to its value to the ship. Even though the appearance and arrangement of the living spaces have improved, they are still excessively hot. Because of the heat, some men prefer to sleep on deck. Temperature control of some sort must be installed if human efficiency is to be high during the summer months and during traffic operations. Installing mechanical cooling will not only improve human efficiency, but will also increase the resistance of the ship to contamination from atomic, biological, and chemical attacks. The experiment to improve shipboard living conditions has not only improved efficiency, but it has also improved morale. In an evaluation of the conversion on the Meredith, members of the crew said, Alex Alexiev, talking about this. channels. It's a lot easier to hang on to your chow when you don't have to hang on to a chair. It's a 200% improvement. Well, at last we have a place where we can sit down and relax. Alex Alexiev, well, in morning, rest in peace day, Ecto Sage, from the Sage Channel. Yeah, the Navy is really trying to do something for us. Giving living conditions the consideration commensurate with other military characteristics. Luca. Will result in improved D8. efficiency of the men. Luca. And thus in improved XX. effectiveness of the Nep nep. Wait, did he die? Alex Alexiev. Hopefully not. He just hasn't uploaded in a while. Nep nep. Oh okay smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. For seven months that is. Nep nep. Oh. Alex Alexiev. Yet. Yeah.
Beatrice. Hope he's just taking a break. Nep nep. Well it could be just life in general getting in the way. Off Korea. Those mountains are alive with guns, ammunition and supplies on their way to the communist front. Our ship is here to see they don't arrive. In the moment before the big guns start firing, there's always a certain tenseness reflected in the quiet attitude of the men that... Alex Alexiev. Yeah, it could be Thad. Luca. Maybe he ran out of PCU. With the guns moving Luca. In firing position, I think Smiling face with open ready. mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. The Etheris. Haha <laughs> yet. Nep nep. You always do on keen servers, starry eyed face. Alex Alexiev. He sacrificed himself to get more PCU. Luca. Yu Wu. Luca. XX. It's when the guns are firing efficiently, like this, that you can be proud of your crew down below. It takes men with Navy know how in the turrets to feed those big guns. Men who've learned their job through long hours of training and hard work. Coordination and teamwork move the shells smoothly into position. Alex Alexiev. Random explosions in the background. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. Think you mean freedom shells. Nep nep. If I can spell in English and not moniker language underscore underscore. Alex Alexiev. You don't need freedom, you need communism. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. INB4 furry president. Luca. X3. Luca. Yet yeah, nep nep asterisk asterisk. Luca. X3.
Luca. Might add temporary drills to make this a bit faster. Luca. Gonna respawn first though. Nep nep. Yet. Alex Alexiev. Dead. Alex Alexiev. Rib. Nep nep. Although my one drill is doing quite well lol. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Yes C equals. Luca. X3. Luca. Oh right my other ship still has drills. Luca. Rip can't put more. Alex Alexiev. Sage is alive, he's still active on Twitter, just checked. Luca. Yay C equals. Luca. X3. Ether is good to hear.
Luca. Oh right need cobalt. Luca. Gonna go there on jetpack for a bit done need that much anyway. Nep nep. Ah okay.
Nep Nep. I was wondering where that vibrating sound was coming from, starry eyed face, stupid me smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. My name is way too formal but I had to change it to this for online classes. Nep nep. A rip. Nep nep. Well, just make another account lol. Alex Alexiev. Yeah, but I can change it back now, I think. Luca. A rip. Luca. XX. Alex Alexiev. Luckily don't need a new account. Nep nep. Good. Monica. Good. U W U U W U. Good. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. Oh god I got all three streams with the sound on. Nep nep. The text to voice is just. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes rip.
Alex Alexiev. I'm late but... Alex Alexiev. Good.
soul-zudged Valashu. Luka Luka, smiley face. Luka. Hey Vala C equals. Luka. X3. Soulzuched Valashu. A battle carrier as in a spaceship which carries many tiny ships? Looks pretty big already. Luca. Yeah, 3. Luca. X3. Nep Nep. Basically a carrier that is designed for close combat. Luca. Yeah 3. Luca. X3. Nep Nep. That's actually my building design style with carriers lol. Nep Nep. Since the start. Luca. Asterisk Asterisk. Soulzuched Valashu. I pretty much only know carriers from StarCraft P. Nep Nep F
Solzhd Valashu. I tried getting into space engineers bout two years ago, but it seemed hard to get into for me at that time. I rather watch Luca building an armada to overthrow the government. Luca. Throwing excess gravel out 83. Luca. Installing furry government 3. Luca. X3. Nep nep. Yes. Solzuched Valashu. LOL. Nep nep. Although you can't really build a armada in Keen's servers, surprised face. Nep nep. PCU limit cough cough. Luca. You can if you make small ships. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Technically still an armada, P. Luca. X3. Solzuched Valashu. Kamikaze Armada. Nep nep. Very honu rabble. Alex Alexiev. You can have an air mod, of 10, 1000 PCU small grid fighters. Alex Alexiev. Or 20 by 500 PCU, what a deal. Alex Alexiev. Armada asterisk. Luca. P yet. Luca. X3. Luca. Well the smallest you can make a functional ship is 200 PCU. Luca. Six thrusters equals 90 PCU, one battery equals 10 PCU, one gyro equals 50 PCU, one control seat equals 50 PCU. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. Although small grids versus large grids aren't let's say very good. To put it lightly lol. Luca. So 50 ships 3. Luca. X3. Luca. Yeah they suck. Solzuched Valashu. What's PCU? Some placing limit? Alex Alexiev. Idk, I think have made a functional small grid fighter but I haven't tested it in actual PvP yet sadly. Alex Alexiev. Just need to keep distance, that's why it has more back thrust than forward. Luca. It's the currency for the limit of things C equals. Luca. X3. Nep nep.
Luca. Oh well, good luck with the ship Alex asterisk asterisk. Nep nep. A soft limit. Luca. X3. Nep nep. Compared to the hard limiter of blocks. Alex Alexiev. Thanks. Luca. NP3. Luca. X3. Luca. Ordering kebab now. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Soul Zuched Valashu. You're streaming for the next six to eight hours? Might catch you again when I wake up. Soul Zuched Valashu. UI Kebab, nice. Soul Zuched Valashu. Donor. Luca. Now nah, probably one to two more hours. Luca. X3. Luca. Maybe three if the ship's taking a while. X3. Luca. C equals. Are serious. Hey Luca, how's it going? Soul Zuched Valashu. I think kebab means bread and donor meat, but I'm not sure about it. V. Luca. Hey Sirius C equals just building my ship. Luca. X3. Luca. And IZ Vala. Luca. Monica is here helping me to see equals. Soul Zuched Valashu. Yeah, smiley face, okay wish you best of luck friendo. We'll bug you another time again, laughing face, nep nep.
Luca. Take care Vala C equals. Luca. X3. Nep Nep. CYA. Alex Alexiev, how often do you even fight with people in servers? Alex Alexiev, I started playing on one and I'm not so sure if it's common or not. Luca. Like once every two weeks lol if I'm active. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. It's very uncommon. Nep nep. Well depends how many people are too scared to fight smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Oh wow. Luca. Most of the time there's no reason to fight. Nep nep. Yet. Nep nep. Other than scrap slash salvage. Luca. Mostly when there's bounty or when your friend made enemy and you went to help them, p. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Well, what is a good reason to fight? Alex Alexiev. Ooh I see. Alex Alexiev. Yeah makes sense. Luca. Yeah 3. Luca. X3. Nep nep. But most of the time people don't want to get their ships destroyed, shocked. Alex Alexiev. Yeah, true. Luca. Yeah. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. Although I can't do that cause I never get to the point of building large ships Lamoa well I did once or twice.
Luca. Probably cause they made it so inefficient and it takes them weeks to finish it lol. Nep nep. Nep nep. Or just insanely large. Alex Alexiev. Well I just built a mobile base that's really slow and I was kind of worried someone might ambush me and wreck my shit. Luca. Yeah you woo. Luca. XX. Alex Alexiev. But I guess that's not happening anytime soon. Luca. Oh well. Luca. Asterisk asterisk. Luca. Yeah just hide in space. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Yeah, I think you need to be really unlucky for someone to come across you in space. Nep nep. Well hiding is not very good if they have scripts enabled lol. Luca. Yeah x3. Luca. C equals. Nep nep. Cause then there's nowhere to run or hide. Luca. Yeah but DW all official servers have scripts disabled 83. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. Yeah, I'm on Keen UK, so I'm safe. Nep nep. Yeah, but I was in a server where you had to pay to use scripts and they were using Raycast to find people and kill him. Luca. Asterisk asterisk. Alex Alexiev. Holy shit, that's some advanced stuff. Luca. Oh rip. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. And guess. Nep nep. They were the most powerful on the server. Nep nep. Wonder why, starry eyed face, Alex Alexiev. Yeah, kind of paid to win, really. Luca. Sounds like a bad server, P. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. They can farm people like me who got resources but haven't made ships to fight with yet. Nep nep. Exactly.
Nep Nep. Forgot if I told Luca this but me and a faction I was in were in a mountain base on the Earth planet guess what they targeted us and destroyed us although. We did do some damage Almoa. Luca. D8. Luca. XX. Alex Alexiev. What did they attack with? Nep Nep. We critically destroyed the one ship they had, which ran away and hid somewhere so they could respawn, with a miner ramming it. Nep Nep. Damaged asterisk. Nep Nep. A small corvette like ship. Alex Alexiev. I see. Nep Nep. It was chaos at first. Alex Alexiev. Was it fast? Nep Nep. They also destroyed our little mountain lodge with my stripper pole and golden toilet disappointed face. Nep Nep. Idk. Alex Alexiev. That's unforgivable. Luca. Oh. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep Nep. It just sat at the front shooting rockets down the tunnel although luckily most slash all of our ships were in a hole at the end. Nep Nep. Sadly we had no turrets. Nep Nep. Although we held for two to three hours. Nep Nep. Which is amazing. Alex Alexiev. So nothing to fight back with? Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes damn. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. That's pretty rad. Nep Nep. The funny thing was they attacked when I was developing my drones. Nep Nep. So I had one or two drones use. Nep Nep. Although they did basically nothing.
Luca. Foods almost here 83 BRB. Luca. X3. Nep Nep. K. Nep Nep. Not sure what I'm gonna do with T minor. Nep Nep. Cause not sure if I'm gonna come back on the server rip. Alex Alexiev. Well, a dipserate move in that situation would be to make a really simple missile at a safe distance. Nep Nep. Maybe you can scrap it. Alex Alexiev. And ram it into the ship. Nep Nep. Yeah the thing is we're in a large tunnel in a mountain, shocked. Nep Nep. With only one entrance. Nep Nep. And guess what was guarding it lol. Alex Alexiev. Yeah, though one person could have tried to make a tunnel out of it. Alex Alexiev. But that would leave a second entrance in the end. Alex Alexiev. So that's not too good. Nep Nep. Yeah they found the hole where the wind generators connect to the base above ground so they were coming in from two ways, shocked. Alex Alexiev. Those guys really wanted you dead it seems. Nep Nep. Well. Nep Nep. When they attack those guys leave nothing left doesn't matter who you are. Alex Alexiev. What a barbaric faction that is.
Nep nep. Apparently to make the server lag less and because I was outside their shield on their planet Lamoa. Alex Alexiev. Well. At least they server has clear bad guys. Alex Alexiev. Someone you can attack without feeling bad. Nep nep. Although good luck with that Lamoa. Alex Alexiev. They've antagonized themselves. Alex Alexiev. Yet. Yeah. Alex Alexiev. True. Luca. And Bach with food 83. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. Just guerrilla warfare. Alex Alexiev. Hit and run and such. The Etheris. Lotus. Nep nep. Yet after they beat us and destroyed our respawn they warhead everything there was not one bit of the base left just a tunnel and a hole. Alex Alexiev. Jesus. Alex Alexiev. Those guys have no chill. Nep nep. Yeah, starry eyed face. Alex Alexiev. Well, if you're still going to play on there. Alex Alexiev. You might want to rush some defenses. Nep nep. Well the server has gone to shit now. Nep nep. Everyone on the discord is now idic anymore. Nep nep. It's just arguments.
Alex Alexiev. Damn, that's sad. Nep nep. I wish I could put pictures in YouTube chat. Alex Alexiev. Luca, what's your advice for fighting against Rouge factions? Haha. <laughs> Luca. Kill them. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. Define Rouge. Alex Alexiev. Yeah, fair enough. Nep nep. In SC sense. Etheris. Just build a lotus missile smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Attacking mercilessly and destroying anything in sight. Nep nep. You can't just build a lotus. Alex Alexiev. I mean, really, they didn't even scrap your base for material. Nep nep. Yeah. Alex Alexiev. Wasted space would approve of a Lotus missile. Alex Alexiev. Keen would not. Nep nep. And servers definitely won't. Luca. Find their base or lure their ship and torpedo it prepare first of course. Luca. X3. Nep nep. It's not good for her performance. Etheris. After a while materials are not that important, if you have a large faction with a couple bases and some mining rigs. Nep nep. Yeah true. Alex Alexiev. I believe as soon as you have a large miner, resources aren't a problem. Alex Alexiev. It's just the time in building ships and such. Nep nep. Although I would prefer a precise weapon rather than a scatter weapon. Nep nep. Although it depends what mission needs to be done. Alex Alexiev. Well if their base is exposed, I wouldn't mind making a missile and launching it across the planet.
Alex Alexiev. As long as I know it won't get shot down. Nep nep. I've always tried to make a Thor slash Odin system where you launch rods at people but you need a script to calculate where it lands. Alex Alexiev. True, it's really hard to aim by yourself. Nep nep. My plan was to use it in orbit. The Etheris. Send some decoys ahead and fly the missile yourself. Nep nep. My testing was 10 to 20 kilometers from the ground. Alex Alexiev. It doesn't need to be in space though, as long as a it stays above the target out of range. Alex Alexiev. But it will make it easier to shoot down if they have ships. Nep nep. That's why I would have it in space. Nep nep. And the thing is the turrets won't target a unpowered rod. Nep nep. I think. Luca. Unpowered grid might despawn too if or not too close to it x3. Luca. C equals. Alex Alexiev. They will, if it has any components. Luca. Asterisk if no one's too close to it. Nep nep. Yeah. Luca. So gotta stay close until it lands. Luca. X3. Nep nep. So realistically you would just use missiles from orbit which will be much more accurate than any rod anyway. Alex Alexiev. Missiles are the way to go. Alex Alexiev. Just make them hard to shoot down. Nep nep. But still be as hard to shoot down if built right even without decoys. Luca. It just used torpedo C equals. Nep nep. I actually built a APHE missile.
Luca. Do you guys want to see how I torpedo in creative while materials process? Alex Alexiev. What backslash s the difference? Luca. X3. Nep nep. Sure. Alex Alexiev. Sure. Luca. You'll see three. The Etheris. Yet. Alex Alexiev. Awesome. Alex Alexiev. Also what's an APHE missile? Nep nep. And I'm prob gonna come off server anyway to do other stuff lol. The Etheris. Armor piercing high explosive. Alex Alexiev. Oh wait. Alex Alexiev. Yet. Nep nep. Armor piercing high explosive. Nep nep. Yet. Alex Alexiev. Thanks. Luca. Okies 83. Luca. X3. Nep nep. It has heavy armor at the nose which goes down. Alex Alexiev. I really need to update my missile though, it's really outdated. Alex Alexiev. And warheads at the back. Nep nep. Then uses a sensor to detonate when inside the target. Nep nep. Nope. Alex Alexiev. Oh I see, that's cool. Alex Alexiev. I tried the sensor trick with my missile, but it didn't work out the way I did it. The Etheris. Yet I have the same type of missiles. Nep nep. They're quite deadly from orbit. Nep nep. And fun. Luca. Here we go C equals. Luca. X3. Nep nep. Wow two heavy blocks Luca smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. SMH. Luca. Trying to find a target. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. You just launch heavy armor blocks? Nep nep. Yep they're so deadly. Luca. You'll see how effective their C equals. Luca. X3. Nep nep. They destroy ships. Luca. OIZ to target. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. It's so broken lol.
Luca. I am a show damage C equals Luca X3. Luca. Kinda missed a bit. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Otherwise what split it in two. Alex Alexiev. Holy shit. Nep nep. Think only one hit. Nep nep. Or they were too close together. Alex Alexiev. Yeah that's a lot of damage for almost no resources put into the projectile. Luca. Yeah you woo. Luca. XX. Luca. Yes yeah, C equals. Nep nep. Doesn't work with light armor blocks though. Luca. Effective way to use it is to use it together with your attack ship. Luca. I am a show 3. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. Though it's really damaging it seems really hard to aim it properly. Nep nep. Yeah. Alex Alexiev. I don't think it'll be easily used in a fight, but when you have the first strike it might be OP. Luca. Yeah cause it was a small ship. Nep nep. But if it's hits it hits. Luca. It's P easy with big ship. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. I see. Alex Alexiev. And yet, if it hits, it hits crazy. Alex Alexiev. I think I can design a torpedo bomber with this, that might be easy to use, but I'm just speculating. Nep nep. Go noob tube go. Smiling cat face with open mouth. Luca. 3. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. Well damn. Luca. You woo. Luca. Oki's Bok to survival. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Yeah, I'll definitely use that in some way. The Etheris. That ship is so scary for so little. Alex Alexiev. I'll see how. Luca. Yeah it's the Mortar Boot 3. Luca. Gonna release it sometime soon. Luca. X3.
Nep Nep. Hell yeah free U-boats for everyone. Luca. Yeah. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. The Etheris tried to build something similar to your ships but I can't smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Oh wrong server. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Next day everyone has that exact ship because it works so well. Nep nep. LOL. Nep nep. E. Alex Alexiev. I'll still try to make my own though, I think I have a decent one ATM. Nep nep. I'm pretty shit at building ships but sometimes I somehow do it right and get a balance of nice looking and good working. Nep nep. Oh also Luca you can just scrap my ship if you want. Luca. P. Luca. And Oki's X3. Luca. C equals. Luca. Thanks Nepi 83. Luca. X3 Etheris. I usually find that my ships are not bad looking and function well but they would still be dead against Luca. Luca. Yu Wu. Alex Alexiev. I usually avoid looks these days, because if I focus on looks I really stress over it. Etheris. I have to build useless interiors and put little details everywhere XP. Alex Alexiev. But the ships I make now don't look ugly though Sir Pringley, at least to me.
Alex Alexiev. I was stressing the exterior mostly. Luca. Das good C equals. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. Interior was easy for me. Nep nep. I would show you guys the ship I used for Luca's server but of course I can't exactly do that Lamoa. The Etheris. If I try to build something purely functional it turns out so ugly I don't even want to finish it XP. Alex Alexiev. Yes sadly. Alex Alexiev. Etheris, coloring is a saver. Luca. Screenshot them then show them on LCD in game Nepi. Alex Alexiev. If you color your ship well, it can make it look decent or at least passable. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. The Etheris. I hate coloring in this game though. Nep nep. But but paint. Alex Alexiev. I think it's cool. The Etheris. Can't color individual faces of blocks etc. Nep nep. Oh yeah. Nep nep. Good I eat. Alex Alexiev. I either go for dull grey camouflage or bright and shiny like the ships in home world. Alex Alexiev. Yeah, true, can't color faces. The Etheris. So if it looks good on the outside it looks bad on the inside or something XP. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Yeah, I understand. Alex Alexiev. My current base ship doesn't look half bad because engines and power block are black gray, main color is purplish and I have white here and there. Nep nep. Time to use whips converter whoop. Luca. Or show them on projector nepi. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. And I also wrote out the name of the ship on one side so that made it look kind of nice. Nep nep. Could also do that. Alex Alexiev. And it's literally just internal components. Luca. Asterisk asterisk Edo Det 2. Luca. X3. Nep nep. I only just added a proper interior to my ship.
Luca. Name on the side I mean X3. Luca. C equals. Nep nep. It doesn't actually look bad lol. Alex Alexiev. Yeah, I think it's a key detail, gives some life. Alex Alexiev. Also that's good. Nep nep. Although think I got carried away with the decoration. Nep nep. Smiling cat face with open mouth. The etheris. Funny thing is I always have angled sides and I can barely find space on my ships for names without messing up the shape smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. Damn cat face. Luca. INB4 sudden Monica ship. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. This is the centipede class or the specific version I sued on Luca's server. Nep nep. Which I called the intrepid. Nep nep. Sudlmoa. Luca. Ut x3. Luca. Asterisk is cute. Luca. C equals. Alex Alexiev. Looks really nice. Nep nep. Also inside smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. My first ship with proper interior. The Etheris. Looks nice from what I can see smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Yeah I like it personally. Nep nep. Sadly the projector isn't very good for showcasing rib. Luca. Yeah. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Pantheon. Why is this in my recommended? Nep nep. Oh god. Nep nep. Idk. Luca. Hey smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Do you play S E? P. The Etheris. Fan of S E? Pantheon. No. Pantheon. 
I have no idea what this game is. Luca. Weirdo. Luca. Space games? Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. The Etheris. Games. Luca. I mean do you play other space games? The Etheris. Space stuff? Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. Weird YouTube's being weird then lol. The Etheris. Yes same old. Pantheon. I watched a video about the economy of EVE Online once. Alex Alexiev. Sins of a Solar Empire. Home World. Star Maid. Alex Alexiev. I see. Pantheon. I've never been recommended anything involving space games though. Luca. Oh lol. Nep nep. Hey. Alex Alexiev. Funny. Luca. Maybe cuz he hot videos of SE economy C equals. Nep nep. YouTube being YouTube lol. Luca. So that might affect the search result. Luca. X3. Nep nep. Haha. <laughs> nep nep. Probit. Nep nep. This is meant to be a universal ship. Nep nep. Jack of all trades. Pantheon. What is the economy like in this game? Luca. Oh. Nep nep. Hmm. Luca. Just normal local server economy pantheon. Luca. It's not one single world like Eva C equals. The Etheris. Not nearly as complex as Eve's smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Pantheon. Ah, so like wow economy? Alex Alexiev. Minecraft economy. Pantheon. Yeah, Eve has a super complex economy. Nep nep. Not really an economy either lol. Pantheon. I watched a 6 hour video on it, lol. Luca. Yeah pretty much, p though in a much smaller scale. Luca. X3. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes damn. Luca. You woo. Luca. I used to play Eve for a bit but then I got bored by the combat. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. The Etheris. Played Eve for a week or so smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Pantheon. Yet, yeah, no idea how such a boring game has such a thriving economy. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Eve seems cool but it looks like a big time investment. Nep nep. Yeah. Alex Alexiev. And I'm not sure if I'll like it either way. Luca. Probably the PPL who like to grind and stuff, cause it's easy to play. Alex Alexiev. 
As Luke said the combat doesn't seem too interesting. Nep nep. I watched my dad play it and the mining requires spreadsheets. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. Holy shit. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Takes out an EVE online textbook. Pantheon. Have fun building your ship. The Etheris. Have a nice day. Luca. Thanks Pantheon C equals. Luca. X3. Nep nep. Although if you do leave the stream due to it not being interesting hope you have a nice day. Alex Alexiev. See you man. Nep nep. Oh. Nep nep. Bye. The Etheris. And lucky recommendations smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. Pantheon. Nat, this is fascinating, but I need to eat or else I will die of starvation. Nep nep. Yeah kinda important smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Asterisk asterisk. Luca. Thanks x3. Luca. C equals. Alex Alexiev. Space engineers first. Alex Alexiev. Eating second. Alex Alexiev. It's how life works. The Etheris. I'm eating while watching this lol. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. I'm starving before bed watching this. Alex Alexiev. Then eat. Nep nep. Oh god it was pretty fun when I didn't realize how parachutes worked on the second iteration of Lucas server and lost everything lol other than my one drone. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca.
Rib. Luca. I remember that. Luca. X3. The Etheris. I know SC has no hunger or food mechanic, but RL has so eat. Luca. It went to farm on SE. Luca. You woo. The Etheris. I try everything in creative first for this reason smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. No 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 I had no blueprint and it wasn't the first time that ship had crashed haha. -ha. Nep nep. It actually crashed on the first iteration. Nep nep. Exact same ship. Nep nep. For a different reason of course, shocked. Luca. Rip you woo. Luca. XX. The Etheris. Though I crashed in survival once because I didn't calculate with full cargo smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Ah. Luca. Rib. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Dead happens. Luca. X3. Luca. C equals. Nep nep. Yeah mine got keened. Not clanged it got fucking keened. The Etheris. Luckily only lost some armor and a couple thrusters on the bottom. Nep nep. Maybe. Nep nep. Lucky. Nep nep. My ship always disintegrates. Nep nep. Disappointed face. The Etheris. It was a slow crash smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. I had to carry an entire base and all the resources in it Lamoa.
the Etherius. I was free falling until I got somewhat close to the ground and turned the dampeners on, usual stuff. The Etherius. But I didn't start slowing down smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. Ha ha ha. Nep nep. Luca just got welded. Nep nep. Smiling cat face with open mouth. Luca. Yet. Nep nep. Three. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Ender Cyborg 263. Hello and welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Facility. The Etherius. So I angled the ship to use the main thrusters with the bottom ones and that was enough to slow down to roughly 50 milliseconds before hitting the ground. Nep nep. Neurotoxin. Nep nep. Jeez. Nep nep. That's a close one. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. Mine stopped at minus 5 above ground disappointed face. Nep nep. Dash 5m asterisk. Luca. Space glad osses. Luca. X3. The Etherius. I had a bit more thrusters on the bottom after that smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Wise, P. Nep nep. Yes very wise smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Understandable though I crashed my ship on survival too much. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. The Etherius. I loved that ship, but sadly it disappeared one day. Nep nep. I crashed it over simple damn canvases Lmoa. Nep nep. Rib. The Etherius. And I stopped playing on the server after that. Luca. D8. Luca. XX. Nep nep. Big rib. The Etherius. I still have the BP though. Alex Alexiev. When I was a noob I literally used to launch to space in NASA style rockets, just a vertical rocket with a hydrogen engine on the bottom. Alex Alexiev. On one survival I kept that rocket in my space base. Nep nep. Ha 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 I can tell where this is going. Alex Alexiev. But SC was still buggy then. Nep nep. Let me guess you didn't have side or front. Luca. 
Sounds fun smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. And the rocket disappeared literally one day. Nep nep. Hey. Alex Alexiev. That was before that update that updated the graphics. Luca. Oh. Alex Alexiev. Yeah it, it was connected with a connector, and it just vanished. Alex Alexiev. Later I cheated and used admin tools to find it. Luca. Rip you woo. Luca. XX. Alex Alexiev. It was like 50,000 kilometers away flying at 100 m backslash s somehow. Luca. Did you find it? Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Ender Cyborg 263. I used to do something similar but I did put four side thrusters on the big hydrogen thruster. And no break so you get the idea of what happened. Luca. Oh oh. Alex Alexiev. Yeah in the entity menu. Alex Alexiev. Teleport it back in because I wanted to keep my rocket. The Etheris. We played on a keen server and our stuff kept disappearing every couple weeks so I rarely play survival since then. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes IZ. Luca. X3. Luca. And Rip Etheris. Luca. XX. The Etheris. It was on UK too, I think. The Etheris. I don't know how stable the other servers are. Alex Alexiev. When did that happen? The Etheris. Around November. Ender Cyborg 263. They are so stable that Keen removed them on Xbox. Ender Cyborg 263. Lasted 10 hours in total. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Xbox Dozen backslash T deserve such stable games. Luca. The servers? Ender Cyborg 263. Yab. Ender Cyborg 263. It was an insta regret. Alex Alexiev. I can't say if it's better now, just started playing on UK5. Luca. Rib. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Been mostly single 50 50th survival creative. Alex Alexiev. 
and sometimes playing multi with a friend on our own server. The Etherus. People theorized that it was a server cleanup thing removing our stuff because we had a big base and a bunch of ships at one place but I'm not sure really. Ender Cyborg 263. Luca have you used a clang engine on one of your ships? Alex Alexiev. Well they need to be powered now. Luca. Maybe someone got to them? Oh. Luca. XX. Alex Alexiev. Not sure if it was like that in November but probably it was. The Etherus. We always had more than enough power. Luca. I haven't Ender. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. I see. Ender Cyborg 263. LOL. The Etherus. And the grids just simply disappeared. The Etherus. No damage of explosives or anything. Alex Alexiev. Well, I did have a ship disappear too. Ender Cyborg 263. They are used to break the 110 milliseconds limit. Luca. Oh oh. Luca. Oh yeah das possible. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. But I, am not sure if it's the power thing or if the spawning pods just get deleted after a while no matter what. Luca. Eat a debt with pistons. Alex Alexiev. Because it was just a heavily stripped down space pod. The Etherus. And it was all under a safe zone. Ender Cyborg 263. Spawning pods get removed if you spawn another one or if you log back on a server. Nep nep. Nep nep. Although. Alex Alexiev. Ooh, so that's why. Alex Alexiev. Yet it happened after I logged back on. Luca. Yet can make it so they don't despawn. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. And how so? Luca. If you connect it to a static grid then disconnect it at C equals. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. Ah. Ender Cyborg 263. That's a server option. Alex Alexiev. Didn't backslash T do that. The Etherus. Merge locks. Ender Cyborg 263. It can be removed. Nep nep. 
I have left my mark as I'm leaving smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Well, to a static grid on a roid then grinned down the block connecting it, p. Luca. Yeah with merge blocks. Luca. X3. Luca. And Oki's nepi c equals. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Weep nepi. Luca. X3. Nep nep. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Il grab some cobalt c equals. Nep nep. It's Monica nep nep. Nep nep. KCYA. Ender Cyborg 263. On a nutshell any option that overrides the ship status, static, normal, spawn pod. Luca. Take care Nepi C equals. Luca. X3. Luca. Oh. Luca. Which setting are you talking about Ender X3? Luca. Might need to check it later C equals. Alls you bar. What's the sim speed it? Alls you bar. Also hi. Luca. Hey Al C equals. Luca. X3. Luca. Sim speed is at 1.0. Luca. 3. Alls you bar. Nice. The ether is. Usually 0.2 to 0.5 for me in single smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Nep nep. Also I will be back on my tablet D although not RN. Luca. Yes C equals. Luca. X3. Luca. And rip etheris. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. And Oki's nepi C equals. The etheris. I'm always rip smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Patrick F. Hi. Luca. Hey Patrick C equals. Luca. X3. The ether is. Hello there.
Alex Alexiev. Hey.
all you bar. What's the PCU limit there? Luca. 10K3. Luca. Though you can trade with players from other servers so, P. Luca. X3. Alls you bar. Wow that's low. Luca. PCU trading mean C equals. Luca. X3. Luca. Yet yeah, XX. Luca. You woo. All's you bar. Yet. The ether is. There is a hard limit to trading I think. Luca. How much oh? The ether is. 200k? Can't remember. Luca. That's still a lot. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. The ether is. It is. The ether is. I used like 30 40k at most. Luca. 9k more cobalt than it'll have enough C equals. Luca. X3. Luca. IZ3. The ether is. Just saying that there is a hard limit somewhere. Luca. Yeah probably will never reach it considering how hard it is for me to find them players, P. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Thanks for the info though Etheris 3. Luca. Didn't know that X3. Luca. C equals.
Luca. Gonna grab some uranium real quick 3. Luca. X3. The ether is. Anyway Luca have you seen my ship? Luca. Nino. Luca. S H O W. Luca. 3. Alex Alexiev. Don't show her. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Regis Eeks. Hello. Alex Alexiev. She'll blow it up. Alex Alexiev. Hey man. Luca. Hey Regis C equals. The ether is. The one I sent for your ship review smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Aussie equals IMA check it now. Luca. 3. Luca. I think I've seen it then. The ether is. Luca. Oh wait no I haven't. Luca. It's a frigate oh. Patrick F. DK. Luca. Looks nice x3. Luca. C equals. Luca. Hey again Patrick. Luca. 3. The ether is. Thanks. Luca. NPC equals. Luca. X3. Luca. Still having the tab open to look at it, just need to get this uranium. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Is. I don't know how good is it in survival but I really like how it turned out.
energy low. My precious uranium. Luca. My precious uranium. Luca. Asterisk asterisk. Luca. Can't let the small bits go floating away. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Wondering how the interior of the ship looks like Etheris C equals there's no screenshot of it. Luca. X3. The Etheris. Not as nice as the exterior smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. IZ, P. Luca. Relatable smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. The Etheris. It's a bit cramped but I managed to put in some details. The Etheris. And Doors smiling cat face with open mouth. Energy critical. Luca. IZ, P. Luca. 3. The Etheris. After your first ship review I know how much you dislike those smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Luca now hates you for using doors. Luca. My outfit got bugged oh. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Yeah lol. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Well that was weird. Alex Alexiev. What your legs did there I mean. The Etheris. It has three airlocks. Luca. Yeah it does that sometimes, P. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Oh. The Etheris. And doors for rooms. Luca. That's six doors. Luca. Eight I. The Etheris. Muhaha smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. You woo. Luca. Blasphemy. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes.
Alex Alexiev. Just to infuriate Luca, I'll put on like six airlocks on a ship and ten cryo chambers, each with its own oxygen generator. Luca. Oh. Luca. I am a eat it. I d three d t e e n. L o l. Luca. X three. The Etheris. If I remember correctly, it has twelve doors. The Etheris. Oh no. The Etheris. Thirteen. The Etheris. Forgot about one. Luca. Hey, I d three d c equals. Luca. X three. Luca. R.I.P. ID 3 dteen Here. The Etheris. No cryo. Luca. Yay C equals. Luca. X3. The Etheris. I think 402H2 gens. Luca. Use beds, P. Luca. And more 02H2 gens O. The Etheris. Three beds. Luca. Yu Wu. Luca C equals The Etheris. Also, its bigger sister is almost done. The Etheris. That one has too many doors to remember. Luca. Oh. Luca. Oh. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. The Etheris. Maybe seven airlocks or so.
the ether is. That one is a cruiser smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. IZX3. Luca. C equals. Luca. How long is it? Luca. Oh. The ether is. I have to take a look at it one minute smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Jebus, I need more gold. Luca. XX. Alex Alexiev. That ship took you a while to make. Luca. Yes, he equals. Luca. Gonna be about five to six hours of work when it completed. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. With the armor. Luca. Yeah, three. Luca. Armors are easy cause they're just steel plates. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. I see, damn. Alex Alexiev. Yeah. Alex Alexiev. But it's a lot of blocks still. Restream.io. Trophy congratulations. You've received 1000 messages today with Restream chat. Luca. Yeah. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Okay 1000 messages is something now. Luca. Oh. Alex Alexiev. I mean for four to five people, yet.
the ether is 69 large blocks long. Luca. Oh. Alex Alexiev. Nice. Luca. I forgot how long a block is. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. But DOS long x3. Luca. C equals. Luca. Let me check how long in blocks my carrier is actually. Alex Alexiev. About 2 meters, so that's roughly 138 meters. The ether is W5M. The ether is 2.5. Luca. About 64x3. Luca. C equals. Luca. Well, my carrier is about 160 M, P. Luca. X3. Luca. So it must be longer than that oh. Luca. X3. Luca. I use beacon to measure length 3. Luca. X3. The ether is. And it's 22 blocks wide. Alex Alexiev. So if it backslash s2.5 it's not 138 but 172.5 roughly. Luca. Oh. Alex Alexiev. 55 meters. The ether is also 23 blocks high. Luca. DSA tall. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Asterisk DOS. The ether is. All of these on the widest slash highest points offs. The ether is. Shared some pictures on Reddit a couple days ago.
Luca. IZ3. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev, can you send a link? The Etheris. My name is Kazuar there BTW. The Etheris. Yeah. Alex Alexiev. Awesome. Luca. Armor soon C equals. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. Nice. The Etheris. And also this for some closer picks. The Etheris. HTTPS slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash space engineers slash comments slash hkl 6 fw slash sum underscore more underscore pictures underscore of underscore my underscore cruiser underscore its underscore almost underscore done slash Alex Alexiev Wait did you send the link? Luca The chat doesn't show link if you put it here btw Luca XX Alex Alexiev. Ah. Alex Alexiev. Damn. The Etheris. OXP. Luca. It says it in the TDS but doesn't show in the chat. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Rib. Luca. LOL. Alex Alexiev. Oh wow. Luca. Try masking it with space. Luca. X3. ID3DTEEN. Astonished face the amount of underscores. Luca. P.
Alex Alexiev. Think I found it. Alex Alexiev. You titled it, Some Pictures of My Cruiser Almost Done, Four Days Ago. The Etheris. Take out the spaces after HTTPS if you guys see it XP. The Etheris. Yeah that's it. Luca. Didn't see it. Luca. XX. Alex Alexiev. Damn, I think it's pretty cool. Alex Alexiev. I really like the style. The Etheris. More spaces XP. Alex Alexiev. Search Kazua Reddit. Alex Alexiev. And you should find an overview with his posts. The Etheris. The interior got the most love since those pictures. Luca. I am a check soon 83. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. I like it, you seem to have put a lot of time into it. Alex Alexiev. Ship has character for sure, but Luca will diss you for Prasit quality, I just appreciate the cool factor, haha. <laughs> Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes.
the ether is. Yet after seeing the other review I'm ready smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Not ready enough. The ether is. I sent in the smaller more practical one anyway smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. That's good, but I wish you luck anyway. Alex Alexiev. How good are ramming ships in this game? Luca. Depends. Luca. X3. The ether is. If you aim well and sturdy enough. Luca. Just use torpedo. ID3DTEEN. Let's just say you won't be able to ram me in the first place. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. I convert her a small frigate I have into a ramming ship, it actually did really good against a static target. ID3DTEEN. Luca. Or ram ship filled with torpedoes. Luca. Asterisk asterisk. Luca. Yeah ramming ships are useful for surprise attacks mostly X3. Luca. C equals ID3DTEEN Agreed Alex Alexiev Yeah, makes sense The ether is Ramming is when you run out of guns Luca. Yeah, three. Luca. X three. Alex Alexiev. That too.
Luca. Or want to make sure the enemy don't go away with jump drive, P. Luca. X3. Luca. Ya need to temporarily grind my turrets for PCU. the Etheris. And then it becomes an endless chase Star Wars 8 style. Luca. Until I find my old ship so I can grind down bits of that too. Luca. X3. Alex Alexiev. Are you going to fight anyone with that? Luca. Well if there's any reason to. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Alex Alexiev. Fair enough. The Etheris. Need a case of spelly.
Luca. Here goes, P. Luca. X3. Luca. What's a case of spelly X3? Luca. C equals. Luca. I think I've heard of it. Oh. oh. The Etheris. Justification for a war. Luca. A 83 year Roman phrase. Luca. X3. Luca. Heavy black heart. Luca. Well Latin you woo. The Etheris. Yet. Luca. My favorite Roman figure is Cicero 83. The Etheris. He's nice I guess smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Yeah 3. Luca. X3. Luca. My battle carrier's name is Annulator and later is the Latin word for bearer. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes.
Beatharis. The only reason I don't use Latin names often is because I find them to be overused smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca Find the more obscure words. Luca Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. The Etheris. But that's nice haven't heard that on before. Luca. 3. Luca. X3. Etheris. I used Hungarian for my latest ships. Luca. Oh. The Etheris. My mother language smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca IZC equals Luca X3 Luca Watsa Carvalio Luca Isaac Cavalry Luca Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes Luca Idk The Etheris. Carvali the ship I sent you is a local bird of prey. Luca. IZ3. Luca. X3. The Etheris. The cruiser I mentioned here before is called to roll. Luca. Watts Deto. Luca. X3. The Etheris. Which is a Hungarian mythical bird. Luca Aussie equals Luca X3 Luca All the birds Luca Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes
Luca. Nice names though C equals Luca X3 The Etheris. And the smallest torpedo boat is called Varju. The Etheris. Or Crow. The Etheris. In English. Luca. O. Oh. Alex Alexiev. Well, I'll be going now. It was nice chatting with everyone here. Alex Alexiev. Good luck with finishing the ship, Luca. Luca. Oki C equals take care, Alex. Luca. And thanks, X3. Luca. It might stop soon and continue tomorrow. Luca. Getting sleepy. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. 
ID 3 DTEEN. CYA next time Alex. The Etheris. Bye. Alex Alexiev. Yeah, I'm sleepy too so that's why. Alex Alexiev. See you guys. The Etheris. See ya. Luca. Happy person raising one hand. Underscore Harbinyer. Greetings, Luca. Luca. Hey, Harbinyer C equals Luca X3. The ether is. Hello there. Underscore Harbinger. I'm playing Kingdom Come Deliverance ATM. Ever play it? Luca. Neen, P but it looks fun. Luca. X3.
underscore Harbinier. One word, frustration, best to get on sale, winky face. Luca. D8. Luca. XX. Luca. How much is it on sale? C equals. Underscore Harbinier. It may be fifteen. Luca IZ eighty three. Luca X three. Underscore Harbinier. I like what you have done with the starter ship. Luca. Thanks, three. Luca. He always do that. Luca. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Luca. Well since I find it efficient, P. Luca. X3. Luca. Asterisk ever since. Underscore Harbinier. I see you got the latest DLC, that should look rad with that new skin. Luca. Yeah, 3. Luca. X3. Underscore Harbinier. I must confess. I really enjoyed making your and fur. Cruiser on multiplayer and using it. You build smart ships. Luca. But yeah, I think I'll stop streaming now and continue tomorrow. Luca. And thanks Harbinia or 3. Luca. Glad you like it x3.
Luca. Heavy black heart. Luca. C equals. ID 3 DTEEN. Amen. Underscore Harbinier. By now, smiley face, ID 3 DTEEN. You have a good night, Luca. The Etheris. By then. The Etheris. Good night, guys. Luca. Thanks, teen. Alrighty, C equals take care, you guys. Happy person raising one hand, ID 3 Harbinier and Etheris, and anyone else who's watching. Luca. It'll continue tomorrow, 3. Luca. X3. ID 3 DTEEN. Happy person raising one hand. Underscore Harbinier.